Hello, Leo Aquino here. In this episode, we'll be tackling on how to make your site live, registering and choosing a domain name, and uploading your site to a hosting company. And as usual, here's my annoying intro. <laughs> Okay, Leo Kino here. The next thing we're going to do right now is to make this site go live. But uh, before that, may napasin ako dito sa website. Um, dito sa baba ng logo, medyo meron konting space. Actually, malaking space. Kumpara mo dito sa taas, dapat medyo balase. So, gawin natin, um, balikan natin uh, ito muna sa glit. At punta lang tayo dito sa, uh, sa kanyang dashboard. Ang gagawin natin is, um, i-open natin yung kanyang admins part, admin side. Uh, type mo lang dito sa dulo is wp-admin. Tapos, press enter. Lagyan nyo yung uh, username, then yung password, then login. Balik sa pages, all pages. Click nyo yung um, home page. Edit. At dito sa may bandang uh, masthead, click nyo lang ito. Um, kasi ito, ito yung naglalagay ng space from the masthead, yung header niya, uh, dun sa, hanggang dun sa baba, sa main body niya. So tanggalin natin yung space na yan. Include the margin below the masthead of your site. No. So disable natin. Uh, update natin. And we're going back to the home page. Ayan. Wala na siyang space. Mas maganda na siyang tignan. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is, katulad uh, sinabi ko kanina, is we're going to make this um, online. But before that, kailangan muna natin bumili ng domain name. So, sa baka bumibili ng domain name? Madami mga sources kung saan pwede kumuha ng domain name. Ako, so okay ako sa godaddy.com. If you don't have any account yet, just sign up. And, may, dahil may account na ako, sign in lang ako. Sign in. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, no? para saan ba yung domain name? Domain name siya yung pinaka-address ng uh, website nyo. Like, theyokino.com o yung godaddy.com So, bibili tayo nun. Tapos, saka natin ipapark sa hosting kung saan tayo mag-rerent. Mamaya i-discuss natin yan. So, uh, sign in lang. Please, uh, lagay yung username and password. Gawin natin is, mag-search tayo ng domain name. So, ang the domain name that I'm going to use is um, Learn Basic Stuff. Learn Basic Stuff. Stuff. Learn Basic Stuff.com. Yan. Learn Basic Stuff.com. Okay. Then, press search. Tingnan natin kung meron ng ibang nakapangalan. Hey! LearnBasicStuff.com is available. Sige, kunin na natin ito. LearnBasicStuff.com is available. And add to cart. Your item, subtotal is 919.18 for 2 years. So, ang kukunin ko lang is 1 year. Experimental lang ito. So, ito, 709.82 pesos. I was, um, continue to cart. Okay. Ngayon, uh, mayroon dito ang ano, um, kung sino mag-add ng privacy. When you re register a domain name, your name and address, email address, and phone number are automatically published for the world to see. Um, para ma maprotektahan at hindi makita yung name nyo at hindi kayo ma-spam, kumuha kayo ng private prote privacy protection. At mayroon siyang fee na 429 pesos domain per year. Or, uh, mas malaki, ultimate protection and security. Sa ngayon, uh, di, di ko muna kailangan yun. Dahil itong website na ginagawa ko ngayon is for tutorial purposes po na. So, sa ka mo na seseryo so ngayon itong website na to. Kung nag-gain na siya ng traction. So, no thanks muna sa ngayon. And, let's continue the cart. Check nyo dito, one year. Okay, professional email individual. Hindi natin kailangan to. Just trash it. Okay, dapat very careful kayo sa pag-purchase ano, pag, pag, eh. I-check nyo muna lahat. 
Uh, baka kasi may mga um, naka-add dito ng mga bagay na uh, hindi nyo muna kailangan at ang um, purpose nyo is to buy a domain. Uh, i-double check nyo lang. Uh, baka kasi mag-add siya sa pinaka-total nyo is mapapansin nyo is malaki. Mas malaki siya. So, dapat 79.82. Okay, may 60% off. Then, taxes and fees. And 9.18. So, okay lang yun. So, 719 pesos. So, complete purchase natin. Okay. Thank you for your order. Success. Ngayon, i-view natin yung account. Okay. Not this page. We're going to my products. Click on DNS. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to buy a hosting. So, we natin is kukunin natin yung hosting sa hosting yung name servers niya at ipapalit natin dito sa hosting ng domain which is ns75domaincontrol.com I-exchange natin siya. Ang, ang magiging cost nun is yung hosting and yung domain name magbabayang siya. Okay, let's go and buy some hosting. Okay, uh, let's go to the site. Namecheap.com Okay, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to register for an account. Wala pa akong account dito. So this is my first time going to use this um, service of Namecheap. Okay, let's click on sign up. Username Leia Kino Password First name, Leo. Okay, no. Mm, no. Great account and continue. Let's buy some hosting. Um, going to a shared hosting. Okay, so for now, I'm going to buy the cheapest hosting, which is this 1.44 monthly, which is about 800 pesos a year. Okay, domain name connection. Existing domain name, which I already bought in godaddy.com. Basicstuff.com. And add to cart. Okay, um, one year, 17.28, that's about 800 pesos. Okay, I'm not going to add any of this. Uh, auto renew. Ah, uh, not now. Confirm order. Okay, um, first name. Leo. Okay, automatic. Company name, DQS. Job title. Uh -huh. Full time media developer. I have, no, I have no idea what my job title is. Continue. 17.28. Okay, at this time, I'm just going to use my PayPal. Okay, continue. Alright, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for the DNS. Um, probably let's click on manage. Okay, for some weird reasons, I'm having a hard time looking for the DNS. So, I'm going to Google go. And I'm going to it eventually. It's here. This is weird. Usually, kapag bibili ka ng hosting, automatic, uh, every time you receive receipt from uh, from the hosting company, kasama na yung DNS name server do sa email. Eh, and I didn't receive anything. So, this is our name servers. DNS1, namecheaphosting.com and DNS2, namecheaphosting.com So, um, itong dalawang to, ito yung gagamitin natin dito sa, sa GoDaddy. Okay, let's change the name servers. Uh, click it on change. Enter my own name server. Okay. Big tie dito. Let's just copy this. DNS1. That name keep posting.com. 
and here paste copy control C and control B or paste into uh, mouse then save Features may be unavailable while we process your updates. Some of these require confirmation. Please check your inbox for a possible confirmation email. We cannot display your DNS information because your name service are managed by us. That's okay. Okay, so ngayon, magantay tayo. This will take some time bago siya magpropagate from binding the domain to hosting. Usually, the standard time is 24 hours. Eh? Pero, minsan, couple of minutes lang. O minsan, couple of hours. Okay, let's check. Tignan natin kung gumagana na yung website. Learn some stuff. Learn basic stuff. Dot com. Alright, gumagana na siya. So, nagpopagate na siya. It took me like um, one hour bago siya gumana. Okay, so ang susunod natin gagawin is punta tayo ng cPanel. Ito yung admin side ng hosting mo. Paano natin ma-access? Punta kayo dito sa learnbasicstuff.com Then, i-type nyo, cpanel. Enter. Pasok nyo yung username nyo, saka yung password. Tapos, log in. Okay. So, ito ang kanyang cpanel. Okay, so anong una natin gagawin? Gawin natin ay mag install tayo ng WordPress dito sa live site. Paano natin gagawin yun? Uh, punta tayo dito sa ilalim. Nagatin nyo ito, WordPress. Then, ang susunod gawin is um, install nyo lang. Click ito, install now. Okay, huwag nyo kalimutan itong admin saka password. I-backup nyo. Then, uh, baba tayo. Then, install. Right, congratulations. Ngayon, uh, try natin i-check new website kung na-install ngayon yung WordPress. Learnbasicstuff.com Tapos click nito. Ayan, WordPress. Pamasok na siya. Ngayon, gagawin natin paano natin ito transfer itong local site. Papunta dito sa live site. Mag Mayroon tayong install na plugin. Um, type nyo dito is all-in-one. All-in-one. Ito siya, all-in-one WordPress migration. Install nyo. Then activate. Punta kayo dito sa all-in-one WordPress migration. Ang gawin nyo is export nyo lahat to. Export. Export to file. Right. Tapos download nyo. Tapos isave nyo. Right. So, ang susunod natin gagawin is uh, punta tayo dito sa blog nyo. Pasok kayo sa admin. Slash WP dash admin. Ligay niyo yung username password. Admin. Password. Remember me. Okay, ang gagawin niyo rin dito is install niyo rin yung same plugin dito. Add new. All in one. Install now. Activate. Okay, punta tayo dito sa all-in-one WordPress migration. Tapos import. Tapos import from file. Punta tayo dito sa WordPress folder. Hanapin natin yung file. Ang file na sinave natin is itong localhost. Learn some stuff. Uh, click nyo lang. Then let's wait. Okay, there's a message. The import process will overwrite your website, including the database, media plugins, and themes. Please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. Proceed. Yay! Your site has been imported successfully. Finish. Okay, now let's check on the site. Hey! Done. Okay, I would like to congratulate you for making this far. This is a long journey, 
I started doing Photoshop, then HTML, then installing WordPress and how to use WordPress. Pagkatapos ito eh, and how to make the site live. And thank you very much. For our next lesson, I'm going to try my best to tackle After Effects. I've been using After Effects for many years now. Started in the early 2000. And uh, up to the present, I'm still using it. And I will uh, try my best to share my experience on how to create great stuff in After Effects, even though there's already lots of, of tutorials online. For example, um, Andrew Kramer, which he has been a big influence of mine. Um, it attacked Korean yung kung ano yung nalalaman ko rin. And, and my process too.